Hello and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, um, a finance and career reading for the month of December. This is a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for career and finance, December 2019. I just want to thank you all for listening, for joining me on this journey. All of your love and support really means the world to me. So I just want to give you guys a huge virtual hug and extend my gratitude um, for you guys being here. Um, also, I'm just going to ask that while I'm doing this reading and shuffling the cards, that you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if and only if that's something that you like to do. All right, and let's go ahead and get into this reading. I'm going to pull an overall energy card from the Goddesses and Sirens deck, and then I'm going to pull cards for three positions. What you're doing wrong in career and finance, what you're doing right, and what you need to do. All right, so Taurus, your overall energy card is unity. Okay, very interesting. Some sort of partnerships might be on the horizon, or you might be dealing with a partnership um, either romantically. You guys have a business together with your spouse or with your family, um, or it could just be talking about a business partnership. But we'll go ahead and get into the reading. So please tell Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do they need to know about career and finance December 2019? Okay, prosperity begins. There's an Ace of Wands. Suffering in silence. Okay, and then recognition and reward. Okay, so it does look like good things are coming to you. Um, but let's go ahead and we're going to pull a few more clarifying cards for uh, what is Taurus doing wrong? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Career and Finance, December 2019. What is Taurus doing wrong? Career and Finance, December 2019. Hmm. Okay. What is Taurus doing right? Career and finance, December 2019. What is Taurus doing right? December 2019, career and finance. Mm -hmm. And what does Taurus need to do, career and finance, December 2019? What does Taurus need to do, December 2019, career and finance? Hmm. And I'm just going to pull, finally, from my fabulous Gummy Bear deck. It's a one-of-a-kind, but it's actually a very powerful little deck. Packs a lot of punch. So for final messages for Taurus, Career and Finance 2019. Final messages for Taurus, Career and Finance 2019. Really interesting cards here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's take a look at uh, the first message out here. Your overall card was about unity. So some sort of partnership. Um, I'm getting the message here from Spirit. Some of you might be uh, working on a project or in business with your spouse, with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your lover, something like that. But I am really getting this unity card. For others of you, this is just going to be talking about a business partnership, um, or something that you're thinking about, or something that you've started. Now, what you're doing wrong, Taurus, the cards that came out for you, we have Prosperity Begins. So this is um, a spark of passion, but I love this because I'm actually seeing here 
two hands, not one person, but again, with this unity, whatever this partnership is, you guys had a really great idea, okay? And this is you guys coming together. This is somebody, maybe you presented somebody with this idea. We have this seed down here. It looks like a walnut. And then this tree glow, growing and blossoming. So there's a lot of potential here. And it looks like that you have asked for help from someone. Again, if it's not a love relationship, it could be maybe, you know, a bank loan. Um, it could be, you know, asked for a loan from a family member or a friend or something like that. But there's nothing really wrong in that. But what I am seeing here, though, <laughs> is that there is something about this. Again, this is my marriage card. This is my 1111 card. This is my twin flame card. And then we also have the high priestess here, which is all about intuition. So, I mean, it's always a good thing, Taurus, to be using your intuition. But I do feel like here that I'm thinking some of you might be working from home um, and some of you might even be starting businesses from home, for example, like any sort of intuitive businesses. Some of you might be starting tarot channels um, and some of you might be, um, you know, might be psychics, yogis, mystics and that sort of thing. Although I don't really see anything wrong in that. But what I am seeing is that there are some things that really might not be clear for you. OK, so when we have the high priestess, it's like the need for you to use use your intuition more. So regardless of what kind of business you are, um, that you're creating. And again, because this is a unity card, whoever your business partner is, I feel like you're really excited about this, you know, this ace of wands, this new direction, this passion, this energy, this idea, and you really want to grow it. And you can see all of the potentials for it. I mean, we see like, you know, we see that, you know, you building a home, we see you finally being able to start the family that you wanted to, if, if that speaks to any of you. But I think the message here that I'm getting from Spirit is to kind of slow down here because there's a lot of things that need to happen in order for this dream to become a reality and spirits saying don't get caught up in all of this you know, the spiritual claptrap. Don't get caught up in, you know, for those of you who are working with the law uh, law of attraction and you're manifesting, um, a spirit doesn't want you to overlook any of the planning stages. Spirit says, okay, I feel like, you know, you've started, a, you know, you have a great partner, but spirit wants you to, whatever this is, really go in and look at the details. Try to see what's going on behind the scenes that you can't see because this is a very new and exciting time. I I do get that you're very, very excited about what's about to happen, but there are some things that are hidden from you, okay? And it's really, really important that you don't get caught up in the fervor. So like I am getting this image with this marriage card and it's a metaphor and it may speak to some of you. And again, maybe, maybe there's some of you are getting married and this is about, you know, be careful with your finances. But oftentimes, you know, when we're, when we're planning a wedding, and we get the blinders on and all of a sudden we're like, yes, we need the Swarovski, Swarovski crystal centerpieces. You know, my wedding just won't be complete. And we kind of lose sight of the actual wedding, the actual ritual itself, like what you are doing. And truthfully, if you're marrying the right person, it wouldn't matter you know, if you were at the courthouse or if you were having this huge lavish wedding and it's kind of like losing sight of what your original idea is and getting caught up in all of sort of the glamour and all of the, um, you know, getting caught up in all of the, like the glitz and the glam and not really taking a step back and saying like, you know, am I making the right decision? Are we rushing into this? Is this the right person? You know, I'm just really getting somebody and, it, and, and I want you to use it as a metaphor, take it as it resonates with somebody who just like wants to get married so bad, but they're not really focused on who they marry and the importance of that being forever and a life with this person, but really more focused on the party and, and being engaged and what that looks looks like and then rather looking at the behind the scenes details. So take that how that resonates, whatever this partnership is that you're entering into, make sure that it's for your highest good, make sure that there's planning, make sure that you're not getting you're not getting confused by, you know, all that all that glitters, right? That there's more to it, that there's some real depth to it. And it doesn't mean that there isn't, but spirits really saying make sure that you don't overlook anything. Because we have the moon card coming out in reverse and this is the real importance 
of seeing everything for what it really is. Okay, making sure that, you know, I do when the moon is in the upright, it would be like there's definitely things being held from you. There are secrets being kept. You know, somebody might be your business partner or whoever you're in business with or your boss or whatever might be holding stuff from you, but that needs to come clear. And that comes clear through you, you know, meditating, asking thoughtful questions, preparing and planning, and not just getting caught up in the fervor and the excitement of whatever might be happening. Okay. And kind of like that excess of fantasy, you know, being stuck in the fantasy world and not bringing this, whatever this career and finance opportunity that you're entering into, or that you're being presented with, bringing it down to earth and into reality. Okay. And I hope that makes sense for some of you guys. Um, what you're doing right here, we do have this suffering in silence. Um, and I don't think that, you know, I, th I think this, um, what you do need to do is you need to take a deeper look at things on a personal level going inward. I don't think that necessarily you need to voice everything that's going on within you at this moment, because you might be entering into a marriage, which affects your career and finances. It might be a business partnership. You don't necessarily need to tell them that you're doing a background check on them because you don't know anything about them, or you want to see their credit history. You know, some things you keep to yourself, but it's called preparation and making sure, you know, that you're you know, you don't have to be, you don't have to have all of your feelings and emotions and thoughts out on the table. Again, the high priestess tells us that, right? That you don't necessarily need to say everything that's going through your mind. Obviously, I'm not saying be dishonest or withhold things from people, but I am saying, you know, use a certain amount of caution because, you know, when we're not really sure about how we feel or what we think about something, if we jump the gun and say something, that can really, really tax a situation. Situation, okay. Um, there is some sort of um, heartbreak here, some sort of sadness, some sort of disappointment here. Um, and I feel like it does come from the past. And again, I feel like, you know, it's important if you're entering into a business opportunity, starting a new job, um, it's not always important to talk about the negative things that have happened to you. And that's why the suffering and silence card is also coming out with this three of three of swords card. You know, I think you've been through a lot. I think you might be experiencing a lot of pain. I'm not suggesting that you don't talk to anybody, but it might not be the workplace or your business partner. You might not need to unload that on them. Spirit's being very, very clear here about like really keep your work and your personal life separate no matter what, because, you know, there's some places, you know, that, you know, in a business meeting or at the work, at the workplace, you know, whether we all have judgments, we all pass judgments. And there's some people at work that maybe don't necessarily need to hear what's going on in your personal life, especially if you're going through some sort of breakup or something, some sort of sadness and sorrow. Also, some of us have issues with success and with growth. And that's it. That's not necessarily the way you need to present yourself. And so I do get that you're keeping some things to yourself, which is very, very strong. And that's a way for you to move forward with your career and finances. I'm not saying don't express your emotions. That's not healthy. You know, we definitely need to confront our emotions, our disappointments, our past hurts, so we can heal them and clear them. But we don't need to, we don't need to divulge that with everyone, especially people at work, especially if we're not close to them. Okay. It can reflect negatively on us. And what you're doing right here is you're standing in your power. You are, you know, you're very strong. You're very potent. You're using your strength and your will. And I get that it's difficult. I feel like, you know, there's something that's going on in your personal life that is very taxing, that is very difficult. And it's taking all of your strength and your maturity to just sort of deal with it on your own and keep that, you know, love and personal life separate from your work and it's taking all of your strength but you're doing it seamlessly people see you in a very positive light seat people see you as a very successful person okay um, and then we have the six of pentacles coming um, out in the reverse and this is you also taking a look at for example um, you might not have been receiving all you might have been giving more than you were receiving. And um, I feel like you're dealing with that on your own. So again, like if you're in a position or you're in a job where, you know, you feel like they've been just giving you enough to keep you there, but not enough to allow you to grow. They haven't been maybe working on professional development. They haven't been giving you a raise and things like that, but they haven't been giving you enough 
to, um, you know, to, to make you grow or let you grow and flourish, but just enough to keep you in the same position. Um, this is something that's out of balance. And again, that might be something that's going on within you and you don't necessarily need to talk about that. I do get that you're standing in your power, you're recognizing what's going on. And then it's like behind the scenes doing those job searches or realizing that, you know what, maybe you can't, um, Maybe you you know you won't achieve the level of a success with the person or the partnership that you're in, um, or in the job position that you're in. So kind of behind the scenes, you know, really not voicing your complaints because that might just reflect negatively on you. So behind the scenes, doing your job job search and setting yourself up, you know, for success. So you know, some things, some places, some jobs, some partnerships, they run their course, and it doesn't mean that you have to be like, you have to complain about it. You know, there's some things, you know, maybe, you know, your boss loves you, but there's just not possibility for growth within the company or, you know, in the job or with this partner. And that's okay. And that means, you know, bring yourself back into balance, recognize that, and then take the steps for success. Because what I do see here coming out in your future and what you need to do, there's recognition and reward. You may not have been receiving the recognition and reward that you need within in this partnership or at work. Maybe it just wasn't possible, but I do think that following these steps, you will have this growth and this expansion and the success, and you'll move into a position where you will get more, you know, more financial abundance, um, recognition and reward. What you need to do, the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. I want you to put this Knight of Pentacles in the upright. And the Knight of Pentacles is all about know that there's no instant gratification. You might not be able to make changes overnight. Again, if you're looking for a new job, maybe you want to start a business from home. Maybe you're starting your online tarot reading business or a YouTube channel or healing or whatever it is you might be doing. Know that, you know, Maybe it's not best right now to quit your job. Okay, maybe it's not best right now to just up and leave this partnership, but set yourself up for success first. Do the behind the scenes work. Make sure that, you know, maybe you're going to have to pull extra hours, but when you come home from work, make sure you, you know, you work on what it is that you really want, what inspires you. And it may take a long time. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles, he's a, the hardest working knight in the deck. He's somebody, he doesn't get off his horse. He's stuck to his plan, you know, no matter what comes his way. And, you know, he's just, he's somebody who is willing to push through and he's extremely, extremely dedicated. Okay. So spirit saying, you just have to make sure that, you know, don't get off the horse, stick to your guns. Um, you know, no matter what might come your way, no matter what obstacles or delays you might face. And the emperor here is in reverse. Some of you might be dealing with, you know, um, a, some sort of authority figure within this partnership, or it might be your boss. They might be unrealistic. They might be somebody who, you know, I'm actually getting here too, that, you know, somebody or your partner, okay, either your business partner or your romantic partner or your boss is somebody who has been causing a lot of obstacles, creating a lot of obstacles for you or somebody in a position of power at your work or within this partnership. And, you know, you need to, you need to grow, you need to expand, you need to step into your power. You need to, you need to set yourself up for success. It's not going to happen overnight, but if you start taking the steps and you really work towards this, and this shouldn't be difficult for a Taurus because my Taurians, you guys are hardworking. You guys were really are willing to push through anything and everything. Okay. And this unity is also this unity with your higher self. I get that this boss or this partnership or this job is something that isn't aligned with your soul any longer. And you're working on something that really is, okay? Maybe it's most likely a side hustle or maybe it's a course of study, whatever it might be. And that's going to really, really, really... Um, it's going to really help you um, just in all aspects of your life to be happier. OK, um, once you sort of align your, you know, what you do at work with your soul's purpose. So if you're really being called to acupuncture or Reiki or to art and design or to medicine, and that's not what you're doing right now, um, it will be important for you to do that so that you can be, un you know, you, you can unite 
you can join, you know, your heart, your soul, your mind, and your physical body into doing something that's really fulfilling. Because what you're doing right now is really exhausting. I'm getting that it's too much. Um, again, if you if you have a job that pays the bills, but you're not happy, and you want to work towards something else, maybe you have to take night classes, maybe you're going to have to do, you know, a lot of work outside of your working hours. So it will be like you have two jobs. Okay, so I'm getting that, you know, there will be some exhaustion here involved. The Nine of Swords is also, I'm not getting it so much as a negative card here. I'm getting it more also to ask for help from your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed. And this is really paying attention to the signs and synchronicities and symbols that will help you guide you on your path, especially if you're not quite sure about what it is that is your, you know, your heart's desire or aligning with your soul's purpose. And then finally, for others of you, I get that there is somebody that you're working with who is in, in a, in authority or in this partnership that's really holding you back, that you are very nervous talking to, um, that you feel very uncomfortable sort of confronting the situation, but that once you do, you're going to have this huge release and things are going to get so much better for you. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there with you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell for any new material that I publish. And um, I hope you guys have an absolutely beautiful and abundant and amazing December.